Have you ever wondered how we can tell if something's a plant or an animal? Well, today we're going to explore the fantastic world of organisms and learn how scientists classify them as either plants or animals. But first, what's an organism? Well, organisms are living things. They can be tiny, like a speck of dust, or huge, like a towering tree. But no matter their size, all organisms share the same basic characteristics of life. First, let's take a look at plants. Plants are one of the two major groups of organisms. They are amazing living things, but they can't move around like animals. However, there are some key features that make them uniquely plants. First, green leaves. Most plants have green leaves. It helps them capture the sunlight and they use that sunlight to make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Next, plants have roots. Animals don't. They use these roots to anchor them into the ground and they absorb water, kind of like straws, and nutrients from the soil. Next is their diet. What do plants eat? Now, unlike animals, most plants don't eat other organisms for energy. They make their own food using sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide, which they get from the air. Next, it's reproduction. Reproduction is when you make more of the same kind. Plants can reproduce in different ways, such as producing seeds, spores, or new shoots from their roots that go out and plant somewhere else. Next, let's take a look at animals. Animals are the other major group of organisms. Unlike plants, animals can move around and often need to find food. But again, like plants, there are some key features that make them uniquely animals. First is their mobility. Mobility refers to how things move, and animals can move around on their own. They use their legs, wings, fins, or even slither like snakes to get around. Next is their diet. Unlike plants, which make their own food, animals don't. They need to eat other organisms, such as plants or other animals, to get energy that they need to live and to grow. Next, it's their senses. You've heard of your five senses before. Animals have them. They have senses like their, that they use their eyes, their ears, and their noses to help them find food, avoid danger, and communicate with others of their kind. Next, it's reproduction. Animals reproduce by having babies, laying eggs, or other methods specific to their species. So next, we know that scientists use these key differences to classify them into plants or animals. And here are some key words that you can use that will help you understand more about plants and animals and what they're all about. And if you're in class right now, if you can pause the video and you can look at these questions. Even if you're not in class, stop them here for a minute. Take a look. Do you think you could answer all these questions after what we just learned? I hope so. And until next time, happy exploring.